Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, then you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Alright, so we're on the Hershey trolley. It's gonna take us around town a little bit, I believe, and pick up some history. We've also got song sheet that sings this song. Um, but it's in the window, so I'll try and get my shots as possible. I think, I think this is the last little thing of the day. Oh, we get to make our own candy bar after this. Yeah, I don't know what to put in it. I'm not that creative. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do a mixture of like s'mores and Reese's cups. <laughs> like a s'mores Reese's cup. Wilbur, yeah. there is so much more to Mr. Hershey's story than that. How long were you in training anyway? Well, I can't remember exactly how long. But they did say I've been in training longer than any conductor ever! I see. Well, folks, why don't I tell you the story of Mr. Hershey? He truly was an inspiration to us all. For instance, did you know he was only 19 when he set out on his own to start his first candy business in Philadelphia? Success didn't come on the first try. He set out in 1876 to start his first candy business in Philadelphia, but he went bankrupt in 1882 and then went bankrupt again four years later in New York. After 10 years of work, he was penniless, but still determined to try one last time. His dear Aunt Martha had to loan a mortgage or house just to loan him the money, but soon he started the Lancaster Caramel Company. There are 106 streetlights and they alternate between wrapped and unwrapped. Of course, these are the only diet kisses made by Hershey because they're made out of light chocolate. <laughs> oh. I'm Papa Hershey, I don't know if y'all know, Bill and Hershey's father, so... Papa is... Yeah, Henry, you're Milton's father! That's right, I am! Well, I was just showing these folks the side of his chocolate factory. Well, yes, that's the side, all right, and what a side it's gonna be. He tells me by next year he's gonna have it finished. By this time next year, this town is gonna be on the map. You know, I remember when this whole place was just cornfields and cows. Hooey! Lots of cows. But that chocolate factory sure is gonna improve the fragrance of this town. Well, you know, that's right. I well, lost one of our conductors and I didn't Oh, well, you know, I did see an unusually handsome young man dressed just like your motor man right by the back of a trolley a few moments ago. Oh, but don't worry. You'll find him soon enough, dear. I told him. You young folks need to slow down and enjoy life. You know, my Milton was like that as a child, always on the go. Oh, he loves children, you know. He made these Hershey's kisses just for them. Oh! Did you hand wrap these all by yourself, Baba? Well, of course, you know, I don't like to have idle hands, dear. But you know, Milton tells me that it's 1920, and by next year, he's going to go out and buy a machine that does all the wrapping itself. That sounds fantastic. Well, in 1909, Mrs. Hershey came up with the idea to start the Milton Hershey School because she and Mr. Hershey could not have children. And this was very devastating because they loved children very much. So she started the Milton Hershey School. And in 1910, four orphan boys came to the Hershey family homestead, which is over on that side of town. And Mr. Hershey created the homestead as a place for them to have a great education and to have a stable home environment. And that was the start of the Milton Hershey School. The school has over 2,000 students attending it today from families in financial need. And when Mr. Hershey first started the school, it was called the Hershey Industrial School because he wanted it to be a place for children to learn trade, believing that learning that would make them successful. And they all did. He also wanted the children to have a respect for God and man, and still today, weekly services are part of the children's Sunday mornings. And finally, Mr. Hershey wanted his students to work at the dairy farm. He wanted them to appreciate nature, so they all did. While much has changed over the years, such as boys and girls can attend the school now, um, the children don't have to do dairy farm chores anymore. Them strangers all the time. Well now, hello there. I'm Jacob Stolzfus. How you doing? Oh, fine, thanks. I'm Lillian. I was just showing you folks the factory, and it looks like you might work there. Well, I hope I'm a conjurer. I was just running a pit net because my lunch wasn't quite ready. I'll say it now. Let's see what the better half packed in here. You want to open it? No, sure. Oh, it's my favorite. Pickled pigs need on penny cups. Ugh. Say now, would you like some? <laughs> uh, I think I have pig's feet. But the penny cups sound nice if you're sure you 
as I near as scrawny as I was when I got here, I gained almost 12 pounds. I've grown too. You know, people say I'm kind of big for my age. Well, how old are you, Timmy? Oh, I'm 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sure are big for 10. Hey, you know what? What? Last week I had dinner at Mr. and Mrs. Hershey's house. Wow. Mr. Hershey and Mrs. K are so swell, and she's kind of pretty too. <laughs> we had chicken and waffles, because that's Mr. Hershey's favorite. Of course, I could have done without the waffles. I like them better at breakfast. Earlier, uh, behind it are two other rides, Fahrenheit and Storm Runner. And um, the, the entire town is in this. There's the old factory. Laugh Track. Oh, Laugh Track, that is correct. That is the building the, with a bunch of clowns and stuff on it. Um, and anyway, when we came into the town, if you saw the Welcome to Hershey emblem up on the hill, that's where we are now. The building to your left is Catherine Hall, which is the third site named after Kitty Hershey. It was built in 1934, and it was originally the high school for the Milton Hershey School, but now it's the middle school for the school. The last three presidents of the Milton Hershey School were all students of the school. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I please to ride? Oh, sure. I was just showing these folks the view of Hershey. Have you seen it? Yes, ma'am. I'm a local boy. Charlie Black's the name. Hi, Charlie. I'm William. Have you been in the service law? Yes, ma'am. Five years now. I signed up in 1941 and just got back from Germany yesterday. I was just up here at Senior Hall to interview for a teaching position at Mr. Hershey's school. It's amazing to see how much the town has grown in these last five years, and I can see they've expanded the Hershey Park a lot, too. You know, I was mighty proud to say that I came to Hershey. It sort of made me a celebrity in the service. A celebrity? Why is that? Well, because of the Hershey Ration Bar. Everybody knew about Hershey, Pennsylvania. Right, folks, I remember hearing about that. In 1937, Mr. Hershey was approached by the government to see if he could make a ration bar with enough nutrients and calories. Enough nutrients and calories to support a soldier under emergency wartime conditions. He soon produced the Field D ration bar, and throughout the entirety of World War II, his factory was basically turned over to its production. That's right. My mom wrote me during the war that she and my sister were in the factory seven days a week, and that they made over one and a half billion ration bars. Wow, that's a lot of Hershey bars. But you know, Mr. Hershey made friends all over the world. I got milk chocolate. I got your feeder is because the milk has an exact amount green and green. This is Stacy's, so you're gonna you're gonna pass by. She did not get toffee bites, but I did. It's gonna go through all these machines and make our chocolate bars that we pre-done on a on a machine. Oh there goes my toffee bites. They're all in the middle. Shake it off, shake it off. I got pretzel bites. I got. No, I didn't get rice. I don't think. No. I'm so glad we both all left that from that room to this room. We don't remember what we put in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I get. No, I did get. No, did I? Did I not? I don't know. I don't think I did. You got pretzels. Okay, I did not then. I think I think I chose the toffee over the crispy. Those are so cute. Did you get 
chocolate chunks? No. Here comes my pretzels. And so you got chocolate chips. Sweet. So you got semi sweet chocolate chips. I did. I got toffee bits, pretzel bits, and butterscotch chips. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. Yeah. Did you get any other chocolates? <laughs> and I think we go down further. We designed the wrapper. We'll do a few other bits. This is our, our custom made chocolate bar. No chocolate chips for me. That's enough chocolate for chocolate bar. I've had so much chocolate. I think I've had more chocolate today than I'm going to have in like in a month. Oh, it's the, it's the glazer. I'll get Krispy Kremes. I guess my butterscotch. Oh, look at the butterscotch goodness. And they're going to come over here. And then glaze her and get glazed. This is so neat. Robing. And I can oh, just watch that in robing. Just in robing. Just think we're being enrobed. It's weird that it's just starting so the pretty. And then it feels it. Because now it doesn't say her on the outside. There goes Stacy's. Just fixing to get enrobed. That's a good shot right there. One candy bar goes in, <laughs> one candy bar comes out. <laughs> it's all ripply. It's pretty. It's very thick and ripply. Change it to even it out. Yep. Take it Is that blow drying it as well, it looks like? And here comes mine. Shaking it. Smooth it on out. One's really lumpy at the top. <laughs> I think it, all the filling at the top in the middle of mine. Oh. Like it's got like a laser. The sprinkler. Laser. But we didn't get sprinkles. Did you get sprinkles? No. We're bypassing the sprinkles. Yeah, but look at yeah, the look at the laser. So I'm guessing that's making sure it's where it's supposed to be. Eventually they're gonna be coming through the cooling tunnel. Might be a little while though. Stacy's over there designing her wrapper packaging design studio. Come on, chocolate bar. Right. It's taking a while coming through the cooling tunnel. Let's have a look. Design my skin, my ticket. Yes. All right. What should we do? Tara's chocolate bar, Hershey's chocolate roll, pre-made. Anyway, let's have a. Oh, that's pretty. I can see my reflection as well. Just want one RV. Cool. I think that's good. You can add up to 12 stickers. It's like, oh, no, let's not. You will not be able to make changes. That's fine. That's cool. All right. Production schedule eight. Mine still got eight minutes. And here's a seven and a half. This is Alicia. This is Alicia. OK, 
candy bars have spent six minutes in the cooling tunnel once they reach this window. Temperature inside the tunnel is set relative to the room's temperature and humidity levels, yada yada yada. Fun fact, candy bar reaching this point only has two more minutes of cooling time left to go. So eight minutes of cooling. Oh, yours is next. They see you. <laughs> I'm guessing that chair still says five minutes. in the um, styrofoam. You know, the wrapper port put it in the box. It just shoves it in the box. It ain't messing around. All right, and here comes my date. Tara G. Is folding it up. Oh, here comes mine. Stacy's already got hers. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education 